If you want to try a cool Wi-Fi hacking project, you don't even need to have a computer. Instead, you can try a low-cost microcontroller with this Wi-Fi deauthor project for the ESP8266. We'll show you how this works on today's episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. While I do recommend the Raspberry Pi with a wireless network adapter as a great way for getting started with hacking Wi-Fi, there's another really interesting project that's even cooler, I think, that I want to introduce you to. So using this tiny ESP8266, it's possible to do all sorts of interesting things with Wi-Fi. Now, of course, it's easier to interact with one that allows you to plug it into a computer, so you can use a board like this, or the official board that uh, was designed for this project, the Wi-Fi deauthor board, that allows you to actually do a lot of interesting attacks using only this tiny chip. Now, once you plug this into your computer, you're able to customize the code to do all sorts of things. But just on the official board, which only costs $12, you can scroll through all the various attacks, select which one you want, and even select it so that every single Wi-Fi device in the area becomes disabled and can't connect back to its base station. Now, obviously, this is pretty powerful, so you need to be careful, careful where you use this, because otherwise you can cause a whole lot of very noticeable chaos, and this can get you in a lot of trouble. That being said, it also is a great way to gather WPA handshakes because by kicking everyone off, it also forces everybody to try to reconnect. So if you're trying to brute force a whole bunch of networks, then this is basically the equivalent of running B side NG uh, a whole lot and letting it attack just everything in sight. Now, in order to get started, you'll need one of these boards and then a computer to program it with. And of course, you'll also need a micro USB cable because you'll need to plug it in and troubleshoot things or maybe customize the code. Once you have all these things together, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Null Byte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. While I'm not going to do that, you guys now understand how to set up this device, how to use it to scan for access points, and then how to use it to actually individually designate one, and then either clone it or launch an attack. This web interface means that you can basically run this on any device, even if it doesn't have a screen, but the screen interface of this original hardware is really useful, and I encourage you guys to check it out and purchase one if you can, because even though it's $12 and the uh, just the Node MCU can be as little as $3, if you get the wrong one from China, it is really frustrating to get one that just will not work. Uh, no matter what drivers you load. So it's up to you, but I highly recommend the official board because it has this functionality of both being able to be used from this handy web interface and also being able to be used just with your hands. It's pretty incredible that you can get the Wi-Fi deauthor working on the ESP8266, but even though it's small, you shouldn't take its size as a measure of its power. You can get in a lot of trouble by using this device in an area where you're not allowed, because it will affect the Wi-Fi connections of anything nearby. While it is possible to mitigate this by using protected management frames, not all access points support this, and a lot of devices don't either, meaning WPA3 is really the only fix that's coming out for this sort of attack. Until then, make sure you're not attacking any networks that you don't have permission to with the Wi-Fi deauthor, because that can get you in a lot of trouble. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts or ideas for the show, send me a message on Twitter, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.